What's up, my friends? Uh, making a quick trip to our special spot, Lake Julian, which is located in, I believe, Illinois. <laughs> uh, and it's about 10, 15 minutes away from my house. And the cool part is, it opens at eight, it closes at six. You have to be a member because obviously the perks are obvious. I mean, you're catching trout and all kinds of really, really cool fish. Uh, I think they have huge bass. I mean, I've seen a two and a half foot bass trying to eat my 16, 18 inch trout. So, uh, pike, uh, I'm forgetting right now, uh, gosh, uh, walleye, walleye, decent sized walleye, I heard. Sorry, this thing is kind of falling, but decent sized walleye and such. So we're gonna go check it out. We'll see if we have any luck today. Last time I caught seven. Obviously I didn't take all of them. I took three. Uh, the gentleman let me keep extra, one extra, because it was my first day. And it was my birthday. That was pretty cool. Um, so, uh, one more or less. We're gonna go check it out and I think I just made the wrong turn because I'm talking so probably best we'll uh, resume when we arrive <laughs> so hang on uh, anyway I'm in the right direction actually I just um, I was thinking about picking something up anyway so the hum here in the background <laughs> that's my tires they're getting bald so they're getting louder the tread is disappearing and obviously with that the tires getting noisier anyway heading to Lake Julian in Illinois it's like right on the borderline over there near Fox River so you'll know where to find it Fishing is excellent, I gotta say. Even on the day, I caught a trout on my very first cast, <laughs> and which was followed by nothing all of you know rest of the day. So you figure, you know, it was like a just a, the hand that you're doubt. You're standing in the right spot and cast the right kind of bait and contact, but. That place is awesome. It's, you know, it's a deep quarry, 40 some deep, 40 foot deep, uh, you know, real clean water. And there's, it's spring fed. So it's like a little paradise. Um, and righteously, they did something with it. And even better, they're sharing it with others. It's a private property where they let you come and fish it, you know, at will without any, well, not at will, but, you know, between the hours of operations, obviously people would just, destroy the place after a while like they do it or everything else there was another quarry not too far about half hour from my house that's also 40 you know 40 plus feet deep and it's got walleye and all kinds of used to had you know be stocked with trout by the state and it was fantastic fishing let me tell you the lake was probably uh 50 acres maybe a little more and uh yeah probably close to 100 <laughs> anyway and uh, it was awesome fishing until somebody decided to bring muscle zebra zebra mussels on their kayak and destroy the you know entire ecosystem of that lake now hosting bluegill and bass only and a hybrid of musky pike no trout left and everything else is pretty much you know all walleye everything is wiped out so yeah you know that's that's what happens with recklessness you know I know why most states forbid having you know the uh, capture or whatever kept keeping piranhas most southern states because they will end up in the waterways in a minute <laughs> I can't even imagine what would happen with piranha in Florida anyway we're heading there and I have gotta tell you what the weather couldn't be better it's partially cloudy, mostly cloudy, so there's barely any sun. 
which is pretty good for fishing, especially when you're standing by the water. Last time I got sunburned. <gasps> I forgot to put sunblock on. Anyway, we'll get some extra tan. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll make, you know, quick, quick do's. I want to bring these guys back to the prey tank. Obviously, we can't put too many in a prey tank. It's only 270 gallons, so these fish are, you know, anywhere between 16 to 20 inches for the ones that I kept. I tried to keep a small guy, and I tell you, I was so excited. <laughs> I didn't want to pull him out of the water, obviously, and everything, so I let him kind of like dangle at the shore in the water as he was exhausted from the fight ran over to the car for the bucket, filled it with bucket to the brim, set it up, and as I reached for the line to bring that little guy on shore or put him straight in the bucket, you know, virtually no contact with hands and taking the slime, There's the slime and their exhaustion combined the two, you know, or I should say the damage of the slime and then, and, you know, the exhaustion of, from fight, it'll kill the trout. So they're very, very fragile fish. They're kind fish, which is compared to like uh, salmon. Salmon is also, you know, the type of fish that, well, puts out all he's got just to find a place to mate that he returned, that he came from, and then die in the process. So, cool. I mean, pretty interesting stuff that some fish are, you know, willing to do whatever it takes all as a matter of fact sacrifice all we talked about sacrifice in the previous video and I know uh, hold on I'm trying to adjust this camera it keeps on sliding down and I know we all you know make our sacrifice I gotta tell you I never thought I would live this twice over to see, you know, such a change in social structure and everything in my lifetime. But we'll see what will come out of it. I know it united Poland, you know, it brought people together, although there was a lot of people that, you know, were, let's just say, on the wrong side of the fence out of fear. But once it subsided, you know, it really gave everyone relief and unity. Uh, you know, we got rid of the tyranny and whatever, the oppression from the Soviet Union, and yeah, it got better. I'm not really sure who our oppressors here. Um, I guess if you want to be specific, you have to follow the truth and not be hypocritical, because then what you say means nothing. There's really virtue, no virtue, nothing. If you have omitted truth and just go by whatever fits your you know rhetoric so anyway we're about to pull in I'm literally like a mile away <laughs> and I'm excited to see how it's gonna go hopefully the spot that I've been catching them is open there's literally like few spots in this entire lake that let's just say hold the sweet spot honey spot for the trout otherwise it's yeah good luck uh, you can spend all day just on one bite <laughs> Also, I'm not coming in the most favorable time, which is <clears throat> later. It's nine o'clock. I should have been here at eight. I should have been here at eight when they open. But we'll see. Last time I caught, I was catching them all the way to bloody noon. I mean, kid you not. Top, top sun. I got burned <laughs> in a matter of like three, four hours standing there, and I was catching them one after another. I caught seven that I pulled, to, you know, almost to shore, and I let them actually uh, come off the hook themselves, which is without touching them, and it worked. So, yeah, no, just just a fantastic spot, but you gotta find that honey, the sweet spot over there, which are just a few of them. Some are very hard to access, which is awesome, and some are simply always occupied all right we're almost here hang on all right good news my friends we got permission to uh <laughs> to record 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to record, my friends. I'm just gonna get in there real quick, so. Okay, so now that we are members, we get to descend down to the deep quarry lake. First, you'll uh, see some of the smaller, shallow, like a trout pond uh, farm type of setting, because it's like fishing in a barrel. I mean, hundreds of trout in a you know lake or pond the size of the size of my backyard, and uh, and you know easy catching. But this is the natural occurring, whatever appearing lake, big lake that everyone you know. Uh, loves to fish on. <laughs> All right, we're here, hang on. All right, my friends, so here we go. Let's try this. One. I want to tire him out too much. He's a good sized fella, so we're going to keep him. Probably going to put him in the tank, so I want to keep him alive for as long as possible. tricky part, getting him off the hook without injuring him. That's it. He's off the hook, my friend. All right, one more and we're out. <laughs>
best trying to eat it. <laughs> Good buddy, take the spot. <laughs> 